How are we doing, MCAP 102 guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm just kind of checking in with you. Um, hopefully things are going good. I, I know a lot of you guys are emailing me saying that you're uh, um, getting the stuff done, and I appreciate that. And I know uh, it's kind of uh, stressful on you guys uh, trying to get uh, not just this credit class done, but also get a lot of the work done for your other classes. So if you get behind, let me know. Last week was kind of a gimme. I had a bunch of guys tell me that they were falling behind and they, they needed some extra time. So I didn't send a video out to you guys last week. But uh, this week we got to get back on track. The goal and objective for the end of this semester is to go ahead and finish up the level one curriculum. At this point right now, I think you guys were working on the chassis system uh, classes at level one. What I'd like you to do is move over to the body electrical systems um, you're going to do the body mechanical class, which is a web-based course. Above that is going to be a starting and charging systems course. And then above that should be a new course. It's a 2020 Uconnect Update 1. Um, so if you can get those three courses done for me this week, we'll be in pretty good shape. This is week 12. Uh, I want to make sure we can get uh, as much as we possibly can through level 1. I know in some cases you may have a prerequisite error when you try to do these classes. Um, if you do, let me know, and uh, I'll do a request in through Chrysler to see if we can get you uh, uh, pushed into those classes. But you're going to do those three elect uh, electronics uh, body system courses. And then as you work your way to the right, you obviously yeah, we've, we've got some fundamentals of AC and heating, and then diesel engines is going to be the remainder of that. Um, so if you look at your course curriculum, basically we want to finish up level one by the end of the semester. Um, so be aware of that. We're going into week 12, so we only got a few more weeks to go. So hopefully we can get this stuff finished up. Um, another thing going on too is um, depending on what area of the country you're in and depending on your um, uh, economic situation in the area you're at, you may or may not get a dealer to sponsor you for this summer. Um, all of you guys have to be registered for MCAP 103, which is going to be taught in the fall. Traditionally, MCAP 103 is a course that we do um, that is the equivalent of Auto 110, which is a summer work study. Because you guys are working in a dealership, uh, um, that will give you equivalent credit for Auto 110. Um, we are looking at developing an additional course for the General Automotive Program. Uh, very similar to our uh, MCAP 103 uh, that gives you a little bit more lab time. Um, you guys will have lab time with me. So if you have a dealer or a sponsoring dealer or you don't have a sponsoring dealer that can employ you over the summer, um, this is really the first year that I've done this, I am going to allow you to uh, not worry about finding that dealership position this summer. If you can, great. If you can't, then I, I can completely understand it. Um, the feedback I'm getting from the dealers is they are uh, slower than normal. Car sales are, are really dropping off. Um, but I've had a couple of dealers tell me that, you know, hopefully they're, they're planning on by the May-June that they're going to gear up again and there may be um, a spur in sales and there may be a, you know, a, a good uh, light at the end of the tunnel once people start getting back to work. So um, if you have a dealer in your area um, that you've already spoken to, um, you know, within the next week or so, make, make a uh, connection with them and let me know. If you do not have a dealer in your area or you've not talked to a dealership, please let me know and I will see if I can get a resume. I'll have to have your resume. You're going to have to send me one and I'll send it out to the dealer and maybe the dealer can put you on. Um, at this point right now, I think you're going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of dealers not really interested in putting somebody on right now, but you could find in a situation that the dealer would like to uh, put you on maybe later in the summer, and that's fine too. But if you absolutely can't find anything, uh, if it doesn't work out for you, let me know, uh, and that'll be okay. We can always do that the following summer. So um, we're going to lighten that up a little bit for you guys. But if you need anything, let me know. Uh, another thing, please, if you have not registered for MCAP 103 for next semester, do get registered because um, they are starting to level loads and looking at sections and if I get a full class, um, we're going to be okay. Uh, but if you're waiting and you have not registered for any of your classes next semester, um, you may find that they start to limit the section. So please, if you could get into those, um, that, those classes, um, be, be sure to do that. Um, another thing, we are um, approaching a, a, a kind of a crucial point, And this, this doesn't apply to this class, but it may apply to some of your other classes. Uh, we are extending our drop 
um, um, drop ad point, or actually they call it a drop point, uh, by a couple of weeks. So I believe you have to the end of this week if there's a class that you'd like to drop. Now, I know some of you have transitioned from um, or actually all of you have transitioned to online courses and you've already expressed to me that you've, you've kind of dropped off on some of your courses. Um, if there's a class that you don't think you're going to do well in, uh, you don't want to draw your, your GPA down. Um, you, if you decide you want to drop a course, you want to make sure you get that paperwork in this week. Um, right now is kind of the last the last opportunity to do that. So if you need to drop a class, make sure you draw, talk to your advisor. Um, all the forms are online. You don't, obviously you don't have to get anybody to sign anything because you're home, but uh, you can push those around via email and get that all approved. And uh, at this point, you can go ahead and get that drop taken care of. I do warn you, though, if you drop a class and that class is a prerequisite for something you've already registered for, you'll probably get kicked out of that other class. So... Um, I guess suck it up, Buttercup, and pass the class. But the idea is, you know, just be aware of that. If you if you if you're absolutely just completely lost in a course, um, you do not want to ride an F and have to retake the course and have it pull down your GPA. So this is an opportunity for you to drop. Twelve credit hours as a full time student, so don't go below twelve. That would be that would be very bad. So. Um, Another thing that's going on is there are uh, there should have been an email sent out to you guys from the college about a potential going to a um, a pass fail option for I think up to eight credit hours. A lot of people, a lot of advisees, uh, uh, students have been emailing me asking me questions about that. Basically, what they're saying is if you um, are you've got a very strong GPA and you don't want to have maybe some of this online training causing some uh, causing a drop in your GPA. What you can do is you can actually uh, choose to do a uh, pass fail on a course. With a pass fail, as long as you get a C or better in the course, you get a pass. That doesn't raise or lower your GPA. It doesn't affect it at all. If you opt into a pass fail and you fail the course, um, you basically just get a fail, but it doesn't affect your GPA. So that's another opportunity for you to, um, you know, kind of protect your GPA also. So the pass fail is out there. Um, I only see this being something that's an advantage if you're trying to protect a relatively high GPA. Because um, another thing is if you decide to take the grade and you get a C minus and, um, you know, there's no prerequisite for that course, a C minus is a pass. A D is a pass. Um, if you do a pass fail and you get a C minus, hmm. You're actually gonna you're gonna end up getting a fail in the class. You have to retake the class. So just be aware of that. You gotta kind of roll the dice. Uh, I highly suggest you talk to your instructor, see where your grades are now, and uh, everybody's. I think everybody's doing fine in this class as long as you guys are getting this curriculum done. But uh, like I say, if you need anything, let me know. Um, I'm gonna try to get back and get that uh, engine performance test in. We'll get that in by the end of the semester. But uh, we should have a level one completely uh, completed. So. Uh, again, make sure you're getting your maintenance ones done. I want your maintenance classes done. Again, obviously our new technology, anything over on the left-hand side where it's is highly recommended, let's get those done and then keep up with your master techs. Uh, but other than that, you know, I hope you guys are okay. Um, we're going to try to get through this. Um, I think our most recent um, word from the governor is I think some of the upstate New York counties are going to be opened up uh, probably for manufacturing. Our dealers are wide open. I mean, the dealers are doing it. Uh, dealers have adjusted well. Uh, things are a little slower because people are home, but um, the shame of it is gas prices are dropping. So now people can, you know, buy cheap fuel. They just can't go anywhere. So there's nothing to do. Nothing's open. So, uh, but hopefully some of this will carry into the summer and we'll be able to see, a, you know, decent summer parks up here are closed. They just opened up the marinas up here and allowed uh, some guys to splash in boats. So I got some boat traffic out there. But but other than that, we're, we're everything's pretty quiet. There's not a not a restaurant or a bar open in town. So that's uh, that's making things pretty slow around here. But uh, restaurants are actually doing takeout. So a lot of people are just doing takeout. But but at this point, you guys are. Uh, you know the dealers are are open. Some of the independent shops are telling me they're they're busy as busy as they were this time last year. So and I think that's a, that has to do with a lot of people um, not going into the dealerships. And that's that's what typically happens with this industry is as the you know the economy worsens, uh, people keep their cars longer. So and they still have to be maintained. So they get into a situation where they start investing in the in the car that's in the driveway and not in a new car. Uh, so the independent shops get busy. Uh, when the economy is very strong and people got to 
a wallet full of money, they can afford a new car, and then the independent shops suffer, but the dealers pick up. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen. Once the, once the economy opens back up and people start getting back to work, I think you're going to see a lot more people um, you know, going and taking that car. And there's some great incentives out there. Chrysler's got a thing. It's, uh, I forget, it was 84, 84 months, 0% APR, deferred payment for like three months or something like that. So you can literally go in and get a car, go home with it, and not have to worry about paying for it until you get back to work. So some people are opting for that. They're doing, a lot of dealers are doing deliveries uh, in the driveway. Instead of the customer even have to come into the deal, dealership, the car's getting sent right to the guy's driveway. So, But along those lines, those are you know just some unique things that our dealers are doing to, to stay in business. So, but again, if, if if you cannot find a shop to work at this summer, it's not going to be a not going to be a requirement. It's the first year I didn't make it a requirement. Um, but if you are working in a shop, there are some paperwork I've got to do. There's a form I got to send you. Um, a couple of phone calls I got to make uh, to the dealer. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So again, if you need anything, hope you guys are all well. Uh, we're doing good up here. It's just getting a little uh, kind of boring. But I always wish I was back in the shop. But hopefully, you guys can get. Um, you know, get out and move around a bit, and hopefully the weather gets a little better. It was snowing, uh, snowing a couple of days ago. So actually, uh, I think it was yesterday. It was yesterday. It's beautiful out, but it uh, it goes from like uh, 50 degrees and sunny to to rain and snow. So, all right, be good. We'll talk to you. Keep up, uh, keep up the good work. And again, uh, you know, do what you can on these uh, these self studies. We'll talk to you. Bye.